Get ready to match the star. Jimmy Walker. Brett Summer. Charles Nelson Riley. Helene Joyce. Richard Dawson. And Marsha Wallace. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76. Gene Rayner. Everybody okay? Yeah. Are the regulars okay? Fine. Are you all right? Fine. Are the semi-regulars all right? Adequate. Irregular, but Adequate. We're here. And there, well, everybody's been here I before. I haven't been well. Really? <laughs> what is your problem? Well, don't I get medical. it till we don't you have want time. Long? I no, have my I medical report. Here. I don't want to hear about oh, it. Oh, okay. Let's say hello to our two players, Rick Bursky and Evelyn Anderson. Rick has won two games, right? And he's got $450. And he's being challenged by Evelyn, who's had her first round question and didn't do too well with it. But first rounders are very difficult, Evelyn. Sometimes fun, but very difficult. And your first round question will be long in a moment or so, but right now we've got to do a little business with you, America. This is it. We are ready. Push the button. Reveal the other question for round one, which is for Rick. This is his first rounder, so everybody plays. Linda said to the plastic surgeon, she said, I'm not saying that you, that new nose you made me looks like a hook, but strangers hang blank on it. You want me to get your aura fix for you, honey? Yeah. I'm not saying that new nose you made me looks like, looks like a hook, but strangers hang blank on it. No plural, singular. Did you hear that, Rick? <laughs> I don't know what he's writing. <laughs> well, yes, everybody's writing. Okay, this, I'll write my name. It's a very easy one. I'm not okay, saying yeah. that new yeah, nose yeah. you made me looks like a hook, but strangers hang blank on it. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Now, Rick. Linda said to the plastic surgeon, I'm not saying that new nose you made me looks like a hook, but strangers hang blank on it. Their jackets. Their jackets on it. She said, he said, strangers hang their jackets on it. What do you say? Could be worse. Black prince. The great black prince. Great black prince. Thank I'm sorry. you very much. Yes. I said hats. Hats. Hats is good. You made your own plural. Okay, we didn't... He said hats before, remember? Oh, that's right. He said... <laughs> what do you say, Brett? What? What? Oh, well, I think this is a match, and I don't want to have a lot of ugliness with the, the judges and all and like that. <laughs> uh, just give it a, a bing. Uh, coats. Coats and jackets, that's it. We got your bing. You got your bing. Charles, are you going to give a bing? Uh, I think this is a match. I don't want to have any ugliness with the judges. Just give it a bing. All right, that's two bings. <laughs> Got two bings in a row, Elaine. Are you ready for a big bong? A big bong? Big yeah. bong. Yeah. Uh, they think this is so terrible. <laughs> they... <laughs> they saw me peeked. I said they hang baloney on it. Baloney. <laughs> that's like a meat hook hook. Bologna, yes. Oh, as in Germany, Bologna. B.A. Oh, forget it. All right, <laughs> Richard. What was the question again? The question was, Linda said to the plastic surgeon, I'm not saying that new nose you made me looks like a hook, but it says a hook. But strangers hang blank on it. Well, I don't want a lot of trouble with the judges. Oh, just give me a Crosby. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me a bing. A bing Crosby. Hello, darling. Marcia. Well... <laughs> I would certainly, uh, Bing-wise, I would take one. <laughs> What's alarming about this... <laughs> I really thought in my heart of hearts that this was the absolute correct answer. Fish. <laughs> now, Marcia? No. no. 
fish hook. hook. A fish hook. Oh, a fish yeah, hook. Oh, a fish oh. hook. Yes, of course. Okay. So at the end of round one, three to nothing, favor of Rick. Round two coming up, Evelyn. What do you want? I'm going to stick with A. All right. Here, everybody plays. Says Evelyn didn't match anybody in the first round. Let's try and Everyone. Everyone looked at the chessboard in amazement as the bishop blanked the queen. <laughs> hey, use your own imagination. What do you think that little lady might say? Everyone looked at the chessboard in amazement as the bishop blanked the queen. <laughs> He's so classy, isn't he? I'm gonna hold this up. <laughs> Did you write an answer? Stop fiddling around oh, with Richard and do your oh, thing. I didn't do anything with Richard. Come on now. Is do it, it me? Uh, oh, yes. Right. Okay. Ready? You play chess? <laughs> Okay. You are rushing me in the slow. I thought they were all finished up there, it. but they're not really, are they? There's are you finished, Brett? Well, oh yeah, I Okay. Yeah. Evelyn, hello there. Hello. Everyone looked at the chessboard in amazement as the bishop blanked the queen. Made love to. <laughs> are you blushing? Can you tell? <laughs> I have an electronic camera out there that never lies, Evelyn. Okay, I don't know whether she was blushing or not, Jimmy. She said the bishop made love to the queen. What do you say? Well, I'm not sure if this is a match or not. We'll be but, the judge of that. But get the bing bongs ready. I said, jump. No. No, sit down. <laughs> Sit down, Brett, my dear. I believe this is a match, and there's just no question about it. I said, checked and or mated the queen. <laughs> Wasn't Thank that you. clever the way I did that? Can you play on words there? Can you play on words. Wasn't that clever the way she did that? I said checkmated. I hope that's a match. No, you didn't say and or, if she did, you see, so that's the difference. Checkmate is a straight thing. Go away from this window. Okay. <laughs> Don't holler at me. What do you say there? Charles has had a tough week. He has. Everyone looked at the chessboard in amazement as the bishop blanked the queen. Evelyn said, made love. I was going to say that, but you know, they can't do that. Did you know that? Oh, oh well. <laughs> Just get I, on. Said, I said jumped. Jump. Okay. You got to match the two remaining ones to stay in the game, Evelyn. Let's see what Richard has. Well, I want Evelyn to stay in the game. I said loved. Loved, okay. Marcia. Oh, Jean. Oh, Marcia, my Jean, dear Marcia. Jean, Jean. Don't toy with me, Jean. Oh, yes, I would love to toy with you. Hi. <laughs> now, this was only their first date, so they kissed. Oh, so that means Rick wins the game. Congratulations, Rick. <laughs> Hang in there. Evelyn, it was a real pleasure. May I shake Thank your you hand? Thank you very much. You're a sweet lady. And we've got some gifts for Evelyn Anderson with our thanks. Goodbye. While she's saying goodbye here, we'll say hello to these commercials. Come back. Absolutely not. Okay. All right. Rick is up here now for the third time. At this point, he's only got $550 because he hasn't gone all the way with the big money super match here. But he's going to try again, aren't you? Oh, sure. I'm... All right. Let's start right from the beginning here. We <laughs> polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Barefoot blank. Now, uh, Rick, the answer that group gave most often is worth $500 if you match it, 250 for the middle one and 100 for the lower one. Now, remember, three celebrities are permitted to help, and we ask you to call on them now, one at a time, and see what responses we get from them. Brett? How about Barefoot in the Park? Barefoot in the Park? Okay. Charles? Barefoot Boy with Cheek. Barefoot Boy with Cheek. Okay. It's a very nice Jimmy. Barefoot Lady. Barefoot Lady? Yes! What's wrong with you guys? 
So that's his answer. Barefoot lady, barefoot in the park, and barefoot boy with cheek are the three responses we got from the celebrities. You want one of those? All right, I got to go with uh, in the park. Barefoot in the park. Is that the one that made Robert Redford a star? <laughs> yes, he did that on Broadway, didn't he? Yes. Well, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. Now, that's the one we're looking for, Barefoot in the Park. Let's find out if it's up there, and if so, where? May we see the $100 response? Barefoot Boy. Okay, that's uh, not Barefoot in the Park. Let's find out if Barefoot in the Park is under the $250 response. Barefoot Contessa. Is that what you were trying to think of, Jimmy? That, yeah. Well, yes, mine is the same difference. No, it isn't. No. Okay, here's the last chance for oh, Barefoot what? in the Park. May we see the $500 number? Yes, you got it. Congratulations to you, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Good job. Good job. Oh. Oh, Lord. That was a fast oh, two months' pay. What's that? Just made two months' pay. You made two months' pay just like that. Oh, Bing, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're up to $1,050. Now, Rick, you're going to play for 10 times 500 or 5,000. Now, to collect that, you've got to match one of them. And we ask you to make a decision now as to which one it'll be. Charles. Oh. Charles. Okay. Ready? No. Get it going now. Get the ESP going, you two guys. Think. Concentrate now. Here it is. Hit and blank. Hit and blank. H-I-T and blank. Ready, Charles? The camera is on me. Yes. Now he's ready. What answer do you think, Rick? Run. Hit and run. He says hit and run will match you for $5,000. What do you say to that? See, we first started our ESP three days ago with hat, remember? Right. Do you really remember you just saying that because you're the MC? No, hat. I remember I hat. I love you. I said hit and run. You got six thousand and fifty dollars. How about that? There's a souvenir. I didn't mean that, darling. <laughs> All right. This will have a place in my wall locker. A uh, place in your war locker? Wall locker. Oh, wall locker. Oh, I see. I thought the country was going uh, someplace that I didn't know about there. All right, six thousand and fifty, and he's still a champ, and he's going to play another game. Let's meet Denise Esola. There, Rick. Hello, Denise. Hi. How are you? Fine. You two know each oh, other? Yeah, we know. He's a little excited now, and we'll give him a chance to cool down. We ask you to tell us about yourself. Well, I'm originally from Plymouth, California. Yeah. And I attended college in San Diego, California, where I was a musical theater major. And now I live in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, yes. where I'm a dancer at one of the shows on the Strip. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, She's a dancer at one of the shows on the Strip. Okay, well, Denise, we wish you the very best of luck. Did I say your name correctly? Yes. Esola. 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 It's a very pretty name. Thank now, you. we uh, push the button here and ask you to make a decision. B. B. Here we go. Ready? Sure. When the magician cast his spell over the president, the president turned into a blank. <laughs> Come on. What? See how, how quick they jump into action and just start, their now, minds you start mean our president, fogging this, up. This, you mean Mr. Ford? When the magician cast his spell over the president, the president turned into a blank. Yes, I suppose so. Sure, President Ford. The president of your choice. Right? The president of your choice. Let's magician. say it's President Ford. Okay, Denise? It, honey, I so that we're all working on the worry. same level. Just, we're talking all... about President Ford. When the magician cast his spell over the president, the president turned into a... <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Ready down here. Ready up there? Let's go to Denise. 
When the magician cast his spell over the president, the president turned into a... Pumpkin. A pumpkin. Well, isn't that the traditional thing that happens? Isn't that the traditional... What do you say, Jimmy? Where is this crowd from? What is this? What's wrong? Various What's places. wrong with pumpkins? What's wrong with pumpkins? Nothing wrong with pumpkins. Show me a here. boy, Jimmy. You tell him. What do you say? I looked at his answer and thought, oh, he's done it again, the dummy. But how was I to know? I said they turned him into a Democrat. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Made him very uncomfortable. A little uncomfortable. tricky with his yeah. politics. That's but... right. Now, Charles. I said a rabbit. I'm sorry. A rabbit. Well, that's what magicians do. They change things into rabbits. Now, Elaine. Well, how are you with magicians? Well, uh, well, I was thinking of President Ford. Yes, you were thinking of President Ford. Right. When the magician cast his spell over the president, the President Ford turned into a Chevy. <laughs> A 56 Chevy. A 56 Chevy already, yes. Okay, why did the president turn? Tell us the truth, Richard. Now the truth, don't lie to us. Honorable truth. Turn him into Toyota. Toyota? Yeah. What year? <laughs> okay, Marsha. Jean. Darling. These things just come to me. They I'm do? Really, they do, like hot flashes in the night. I oh, don't know, no. it's just... That's your age, dear. I no. know. <laughs> Thank God she's not picking on me anymore. <laughs> That's all You're I next. Oh. Now leave Marsha alone now, Marsha. Yes. Yes, leave her alone. She's a sweet lady. Thank you so much, and a fine dancer. Yes. <laughs> Was it, it, a very bizarre magician. He turned him into a first lady. <laughs> Turn him into the first lady. You dummies, laugh it up a little bit. These are the jokes. <laughs> All right, so where are we now? We're at the uh, middle of round one. Your question will be long in a minute or so, but right now we got to do a little business. So you pay attention to this and hurry right back. Today's consolation prizes are a match set of Regal's decorated Harvest Aluminum Waterless Cookware with Teflon 2 and matching polyprick coffee maker, all from Regalware. And a silver tray and a supply of Snow's clams. Tender, tasty, packed in natural juices, Snow's is the favorite in New England where people really know clams. And a waffle grill from Staley Syrup. Naturally thick, naturally rich Staley Syrup with rich country breakfast flavor enjoyed by Americans for 50 years. That's game 76, starring Gene Blank, continues in one minute. Ready, carry on here. Second half of round one. Ready, Rick? Ready. When Chiquita, the exotic dancer, went on Sesame Street, the kids really got an education. <laughs> Chiquita taught them the letter B by showing them her blank. <laughs> Chiquita, the exotic dancer, went on Sesame Street. The kids really got an education. Chiquita taught them the letter B by showing them her blank. Chiquita. Chiquita, the exotic dancer. All righty. Well, two things. Put one down. Okay. Oh. All right, Brett, here we go with Rick Bursky. You know what an exotic dancer is? Sure do. <laughs> When Chiquita, the exotic dancer, went on Sesame Street, you know what that is? Sure do. The kids really got an education. Chiquita taught them the letter B by showing them her... Belly button. Belly button. There are a lot of bees in the anatomy, aren't there, Jimmy? Bees the bees. I, the Black Prince, came up, because black is also for the bees, great, too. The great Black Prince. The great prince. Black Prince. Great Black Prince. Yeah, I know mine. <laughs> came oh. up... Yeah, go ahead came up with the answer, the only answer for this, I said by showing her their buns. Her buns. What a wonderful answer. Now listen, there are people here who watch you on Good Times. Are they? Yes, Where are the two of them at? <laughs> <laughs> and they would like to hear you hear the, word, hear the word that you use so much on Good Times. I want to do my new FM version. What is that? You don't want my new FM version of it. Are you ready? This is very mellow, so you got to get into it. Darn all might. <laughs> That's my FM book. 
Okay, thank you, sir. Now, you, what was your answer then? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> I mean, the kids read, uh, she could have taught them the letter B by showing them her... Oh, absolutely, by showing them her incredible bust line. Okay. <laughs> Rick said belly button. Charles, what'd you say? I said boob. A boob. Uh, she have only one, Charles? Elaine, what do you say? She did only have one. Oh, really? I was going to say her bic, but I oh. figured nobody else was picking yeah, her bic. Right. So I said her hot dog buns. Her buns. <laughs> and Richard? No belly button. They, they laughed a little bit, but it was... No good. belly button so far. Not here. El boo-boo. El boo-boo. No Not belly buttons, boo-boo. Rick. Boo-boo. Oh, booba ho ho. I'm sorry, sir. Yes. I don't know if any of us are prepared for this because I got it right. Ho! Oh, hey! hey! well, everybody, stand up. 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 Thank I knew so she'd much. get one during the week, and that was it. That okay, was it so at the, the end of round team. one, one to one is a score, and round two coming up after this. Here we're going to just stop just here. One, one, end of round one, round two, next time we get together, okay? All right. Now, listen, you were all splendid. I didn't say the Bob Newhart Show today, so I'll say that now. Bob Newhart Show. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, we'll uh, join you next time for Match Game 76. This is Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. <laughs>